Hey guys, Erica and Angie with Backyard Shooting and I've already done an unboxing on this and took a few shots with it when I first got it, but there is still more to do yet. So what I'm gonna do today is say I wanna take this guy ratting so I want to use, we know the JSB 1813 shot beautifully in it from the last video and from Air Guns of Arizona's um, advice in their shot card. So that shoots beautifully. But I'm looking for a hunting pellet. And I know JSB 1813s are absolutely capable of taking rats, squirrels, that kind of thing. But I want a hunting pellet that's actually made for hunting. So I've got a bunch of pellets on the table and different manufacturers. I've got some Gamo, some Crossman, some JSB, Predator JSB, um, H&N Sport, uh, Crossman, did I say Crossman? Yeah, so I've got several different hunting pellets and I do have the GTOs and I know they're a dome top pellet, but I consider these great hunters as well because they're pretty speedy. Yeah, they are super fast, so. I've actually had a lot of success with these um, Gamo Urban Squirrel Hunt. I use these and they're fantastic. So those, those I have included in the hunting pellet test. So I've got my target set up. We're at 25 yards because what I plan to do with this is go ratting. And when I'm ratting, I'm not that far away from the rats. So 25 yards is absolutely sufficient. I've got some targets set up. That will take, let's see, it's got four different bowls on it, including the center bowl. So we'll see 10, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I can make, I can make some more bowls with those. We're gonna see which ones shoot the best, the bestest of the bestest. And then I'm gonna get the Brocock um, Sahara set up, set up for some ratting. So let's get started. Go ahead and load the mag. And oh. we're gonna just shoot five shot groups like normal. It's normally what I shoot. And I'm starting with the GTOs. Alright. We'll shoot the center bowl first. Good, I think, from what I can tell from here. All right, so those are first. All right, now we've got the Excite Coppa Spitz Kugel. There's another way to say it. I'm sure it sounds more like that, but <laughs> that's how I'm going to say it. Um, I haven't shot these ones in a long time. I figured, eh, what the heck? Let's try it. Kind of like shooting pennies. Here we go. Top left. Nothing. All right, those ones didn't do terribly either. And these ones are the Crossman pointed 14.3 grain. All right, bottom left. <laughs> so far, they're all shooting really well. Just think, I get to fix, I get to fix a favorite. Fix a favorite. Which one's the best? All right. Bottom right. Here we go. It doesn't look like the piranhas are going to eat today. 
All right. Next up is the um, Gamo Rockets. These are a hunting pellet. They are a very successful hunting pellet. Um, whoa, and they're magnetic. So we're gonna try these out to see if we have any success. All right, top right. All right, those ones did beautifully. Beautifully, I've always liked the rockets. Those are some, they shoot pretty good in a lot of different guns. All right, these are the Gamo Master Point hunting pellets. Let's see how they do. And with these ones, all of those targets are taken up, but I do have 12 pellets. So I'm going to make a target out of the top. Uh, yeah, let's do the, hopefully these, are, how heavy are these? These are 15, yeah, 15 fours. They shouldn't drop too much. Should be about the same. So I'm gonna aim for the top, um, basically intersection of the entire target. Oh, gosh. oh, we had two flyers and the other three were in the same hole. Guys, this is gonna be tough. Talk about not being pellet picky. This BRK is definitely not pellet picky. It doesn't mind shooting anything so far. All right, Hades. It's kind of a rough looking can. Hades. The Predator JSB Hades. There's just some more change, Joe. Let's see what kind of groups we get with these guys. These are some of my favorite hunting pellets. It's like hitting them in the head with a Phillips screwdriver. All right. It looks like a good group from here. It's in the black. All of them are in the black. I can't really tell how good, but we'll find out in a minute. I've got five, five pellets left to test. And so far, there's really only one that I can say did horribly. And those are the, um, which ones were those? The piranhas, that's right, they're not gonna eat today. That's what I said. These are Predator JSB Stratons. Now, you don't hear about these ones very much. Um, they're actually pretty new. Um, I have found some air guns that they shoot well in. I've also found some that they don't shoot well in. Top left. Well, nope, not a favorite. Not, not a favorite. All right, some of, some favorite, favorite hunters. A lot to lot to people, the Polymags Predator, Polymags. Great hunting pellets. Bottom, bottom left. As far as I can tell, beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful. Expected that, absolutely expected that. Oh, huh, that's funny. H&N Sports are all the heaviest pellets. They are all very last, very, very last. And I'm going to top the gun off. All right, Hornets. Let's check out the Hornets. These ones I gotta probably watch how I make sure they don't go in too far. Too. These are some pretty good hunting pellets too. There's a lot of good hunting pellets out there. Whether they perform in the gun well or not, that's, that's a different story. All right, so I'm on to the bottom right target. Here we go.
That was great. Great, I told you they were great hunting pellets. Great, because they're accurate. And instead of the, um, these ones have like a metal pointed tip followed by, followed by hollow point for expansion. Metal tip for penetration. Hollow point for expansion. Now we're on to the terminators. So we've got, oh, one actual target left, top right. Eh, those ones did not do great. Not great at all. So we have found a couple that the, the Brocock Sniper XR Sahara, it's like a desert, um, doesn't like. These are the Barracuda Hunter Extremes, H&M Sport Barracuda Hunter Extremes. And I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other one, going for the top intersection. Oh my gosh. Those ones may be the best ones. Um, I don't know. I have to get my targets and take a look. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Oh my, y'all. We have got some close ones. We've got some obvious, really obvious. No, ain't happening. But we also have some, hmm, which ones? So, oh, I think I'm going to leave it up to you guys to tell me which ones you would use if you were going ratting. They're going to be shots under 25 yards um, for the most part. I don't imagine that I'd get any, I'd have to get that far away from them to shoot them. I know I don't have to get that. I've been ratting before. What am I talking about? Sometimes the words that come out of my mouth, I just, <sighs> bear with me. Anyways, so guys. I'm asking for your help. Which ones would you use in the Brocock Sniper XR Sahara style um, air rifle for some ratting? That's going to be it for today. I'm Aragon Angie. Thank you guys so much for all of your help. I look forward to your responses, your comments, and we'll see which pellets went out. I will let you know in my next video when I prep this thing and put the AT and optics on it for, yeah, it'll be a thermal. I like thermal better for ratting. Um, put probably the, maybe the Thor 5 or maybe the Thor LTV. I don't know. It depends. So look forward to your responses, your comments, your answers your direction, your help. I'm Erica and Angie with Backyard Shooting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Have an awesome one. See ya. If you haven't subscribed to this channel or liked this video or hit the notification button and you really like what you saw and you want to see more, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment, Hit the notification so you're notified of the next video and thank you in advance.